Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got a balance rack, but non bingoy tiles in the F and the M. So, what to do here? How to get rid of both of those big tiles? Well, I can play filmed for 32. And again, a balanced rack, but not immediately bingoy, slightly vowel heavy. Quite a few floaters to consider. And the consonants are going to look the more likely. Well, they've been obstructed. I have the oid ending and nothing with the G, so I'm not seeing a bingo here. How to sort the rack out. What about OHM in this spot? 23 points, quite a decent score. Rackley, although slightly vowel heavy, has a good feel about it, and I'm not giving very much away for opponent. Can I do better? Well, I can move my O over here for two more points and that obstructs the board a little bit more. So I was thinking about playing Oki for 28 and I think I will. Well, duplicate tiles. I don't think airgram is good. I think it's aerogram. Just wondering if there's an eight through an E. Very few floaters on the board at the moment, which suits me. Wow, great bingo by opponent who takes the lead. Now there, there are floating E's. So what was I thinking of? Well, I think I was probably thinking of our Michiro, which doesn't quite work. And all of these floaters duplicate tiles on my rack. So, not great. However, opponent's lead is only 15 points. So, I'm still in this game. I'm still looking at the E in case I have a bingo through that. Just wondering how it might end. Ah, oh, well, do I have marriage? Yes, I do. Wow, very common word, but difficult to spell in some ways. It's an unusual ending, I-A-G-E. So marriage for 76, do I play it here? Or for fewer points? Here, I am going to play it here. The I is slightly dangerous for the X, but column 15 was wide open when I played in column 14. Well, very consonant heavy. Flapperons and four plans through an O and an A. Great, only 34 points for opponent. Now, do I have anything through a solitary A? I don't think so. How about an E? No, or an I? Well, quite a lot of floating vowels, but none of them give me a bingo. So, how can I sort this rack out? Can I get my F or P doubled? And what about, well, what about the S on Nitery? 37 points. Slightly dangerous with the E next to this triple letter square. But it's a good score. It's a good score. Can I do any better than that? Well, I, I don't think so. I am going with this. Wow, that looks very different to my previous racks. In that it's vowel heavy. 
and all one pointers, so it feels fairly bingy. I've got the un prefix. Great opponent takes out that danger and only scores six points, so I've now moved into the lead. Just wondering if there's a seven, but I don't think your rinite is good. I would have neuritic onto a C. What about the G? Not seeing anything there. How about the M? I would have the I-U-M ending. And the time ending. No. How about the R? And I'm considering consonants because this is a vowel heavy rack. No. Double I and U are really hampering this. And what about the A? Again, close to in or eight, but it's double I, which is problematic. So how to sort the rack out? Well, as I've only got one pointers, let me consider the scoring tiles on the board. Can I get value from the Z? And I would have unitizer through that. No. What about a play in column 12? Well, I have to put an E next to the R. Ah, oh, well, what about Ayuri in this spot? 20 points and sorts out the vowel heaviness, splits up the eyes, burns the U and gives little away. I am going with this. Well, that looks quite nice and balanced. Through an A, I would have avoidant and I've just blocked that. Do I have anything through the E of nitaries? I don't think so. So I don't think there is a bingo here, but it's still a balanced rack, so I should have plenty of options. Great, and just 10 points for opponent. So where can I play my V and where can I get a score? With opponent getting low scores, I'd really like to keep hammering away with 30 and 40 point plays to outrun opponent. So anything down from the F? No. Ochi, Oki does take some front hooks. Now my V can go under DI. I don't think marriage takes a D. Not seeing anything across from the I, so this isn't particularly promising. What about through the A? Can I get my V doubled? Just quickly looking around in case I've overlooked an A and I don't think I have. So V, well, I'm just not seeing anything through that I. 12 minutes on my clock. No L for oil. Okay, so I am connected again. Well, what about playing avoid down here? 21 points. This feels hopelessly reckless. Wow, this does feel bad. I'm not doing that. The rack isn't great, but it's not a rack I need to wreck. I'm going to go with Vol. It provides nothing and leaves a good rack leave. So it's so much for my plan to keep scoring 30-odd points. Now, do I have anything with this rack? Well, very few lanes for sevens, and I'm not seeing a seven. Not seeing anything through the R. It would need to begin IR or OR. I do have a 70 point lead. There is one blank to come. I would have add nation through an N. Can't see anything with the F. Great opponents played just 13 points. U doesn't take anything I've got. 
So I could play Iota and we're moving into a very tight board situation. And therefore I like plays which provide nothing, except opponent is really setting up. Ah, oh, well I do have a T for going after you. Yeah, I'm going to turn over tiles. Nothing worth keeping. Opponent was setting up a bingo lane, so nothing I can do about that. Diota for 18. Great, I have neutral. Nowhere for that at the moment. Does that make a play through the F? Ah, well, neutral now plays in row M. Do I have a choice of spots? No, I don't. And I'm minded to speed up my play slightly. I appear to be having some connection problems. I'm not sure if that's at my end or elsewhere. Back to this rack. I have a scoring tile in the K, but a lot of O's. And more importantly, I have, I have a 130 point lead. Can I hang on? And how can I sort sort this rack out? Do I have anything down from the A? I'd like to play off two O's. That may not be possible. I have rooked on my rack. I think the U of neutral may scupper parallel plays. Ah, ah, well, allo, not good. It's allo. And any row N play is going to provide scoring spots in row O, so it would be nice to find other locations. Clegg only takes an S. Still three S's to come. Seventeen minutes on opponent's clock, so they're playing quite quickly. Now, ah, well, I was going to say Oki takes an R, which I've got. But I think I need to turn my attention to row O. UH takes nothing. However, TI does take a K. So I can play Coro. And that does sort the rack out nicely. Coro for 31. And a good balanced rack. And I draw one of the S's. I don't think I have a bingo here. But look at this board. Looking really tight. And I have a lead of over a hundred points. Buy for 25. That's a scoring opportunity above YE where my D can go. So, what do I have across here? Well, I have, oh, well, what do I have? D can go above Y, E, as can O, but I'm I'm looking to try and play my V as well. I don't have to play in this spot, but there are so few scoring spots on the board, just column 15 and row K, that I'm minded to play here. Opponent has not opened any bingo lanes with that play. And this is also likely to score well. If I can find something. So, what about votes? Let me see what that scores. 43 points, not bad. I am going with this. Fantastic, I draw the blank. I have Ad Nexel on my rack with the blank as an L. But I don't think there are any lanes at all now on the board. Bingo's ending in V are few and far between. R, E, not with this rack. Tween, oh wow, I think Atween is good. Let's find out. And it is 89 points, fantastic. My lead goes beyond 200 points. Only five tiles in the back and opponent's gone, they've resigned. They can't take it. Well, they nearly landed, vanished, left the site. 
Okay, fantastic. So the final score, 215 for my opponent, 441 for me, a winning margin of 226 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Absolute bloodbath. Amazing. So it was me to go fast. And I play filmed. That looks fine. Opponent's rack, Mr. Bingo, regicide. That would have been nice, difficult to see. And I remember regicide being a Mr. Bingo in a very early magazine article about Scrabble featuring in an annotated game between experts and one of the players missed regicide and the next issue of the magazine featured a poem in which includes the phrase Reggie as in the person's name, side as in S-I-G-H-E-D, which was quite good. So, missed bingo there. What do I do? Phew, I don't miss one myself. I play Ochi, Oki for 28, which looks fine. And now opponent doesn't miss their bingo, plays knightery. And I just, in the nick of time, spot marriage, which put me into the lead. Opponent's rack, plays zip. And I play Pelfs for 37, that looks fine. Opponent plays OU. Wow, I thought that might be a bingo. It's not, but Prurient, F12. Okay, down from the P of Zip. I didn't do that, what did I do? I played Ayuri for 20, a lot fewer points, but keeping a better rack leave. INT must be about eight points better than, than I, so I think these moves are close and Prurient provided a ton of floaters, whereas Ayuri shut the board down, which I wanted to do since I was ahead. Opponent plays Arc. Vidiot, that's nice, H13, down through the eye. May have played that if I'd seen it. Instead, I play Vol for a lower score, but a better rack leave. Opponent plays you, so let's just have a look. Oh, wow, well, they weren't keeping a powerhouse. They were just short of options. Aiden, that's nice. Turns over one more tile and doesn't open up column 15, apart from an S hook. So I played Diota for 18, which is similar, but probably not quite as good, but little between them. And opponent misses a bingo, Iguanid. Difficult one to see, but it was there. And that would have played even if I'd played Aidant. But look at this. I have neutral, but Flaunter also available for more points. 13 more points, but, but opening a triple-triple lane. So I think that's pretty much on the edge as to which you prefer. 13 points is a big score sacrifice. And... Triple triples are few and far between. Anyway, glad to spot one of those bingos. Opponent's rack. Plays high. And that's great for me because I can play Coro, which sorts the rack out. Drex scores more but keeps the, th the third O, so Coro is better. Opponent really struggling with a very non bingo -y rack. Plays by. And I play... Votes, but Vades and Vados, I think, definitely better plays. Opponent with no vowels at all plays Tween, and that's great because I have had Nexel and it's the only bingo. Amazing. Now, my lead over 200 points, only five tiles in the bag. And this is the point at which opponent bails. But look at that, neutralness was the highest scoring play on offer, which would have been pretty amazing. And that was the end of the game. So what a game. It, I established a small lead and then the board got tighter and tighter. And my aim was just to see the game out with that small lead. But somehow, almost out of nowhere, I found myself with a 200 point lead, half of which may have been due to my adnexal bingo, but um, I'm not quite sure where the, where the other half came from. So the game ended up as a bloodbath, but it didn't feel like one until quite near the end. Anyway, many thanks to my opponent for a good game. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you 
next time.